something's on. Four different bodies of water. Ah. Ten spots. Everything was against me. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo de Vue. Today, I'm trying to finally catch fish on the Leidun glass rod. Not because the rod sucks, I really love it. It's very, very fun to cast with it. I will just do some casts so you can see the, the action on this rod. It's very, very cool. I'll just flick it. If you control, I'm using the Pure Lure Silver Feather <coughs> as my testing mool for most of the rods. And if you just feed it, you can even have some castability for such a short rod. But what amazes me is the accuracy of the casts. So I'm just flicking and it, the, it's going very, very parallel to the water, the lure. It's very, very cool. It's very, very... I can make a lot of casts really, really fast. I'm checking the straightness of my cast because I have a... Uh, I think electricity line just above me and I'm just casting perfectly under the line the other thing I've done while I was messing with the intro was I I'm feeding the line and thumb controlling it's not that hard folks I don't know what I'm doing and I can make it uh, to stop the lure right where I want, even though the line and the lure is making a, a fanning movement. So, now I will try a underhand. Also working. The only thing <coughs> I, I'm having to pay attention is to have the lure really close to the tip of the rod and you have to make sure that whatever direction you are trying to lob the lure you will have the line touching the guide on the opposite side or you will have a weird weight transfer. Yeah, but undercast is also good. Sorry for my undercast always being to the right. I have to position my body because I have really bad shoulders and it's hard to me to make the cast consistently and try to film at the same time with the action camera strapped on my chest. But yeah, it's very, 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 very easy. I will try to give some flicks. You can control the lure on the on the air. That's the the best part about it. Without because you have the give on the rod, it will not be too abrupt, like on a carbon uh, rod. Even if it's a hollow tube or even a solid tube, it will be harder on the line and on the lure. Very very good. Very very predictable. Uh, yes, overhead cast, also straight, but I think by now the castability, it's, I think, even though this is a cheap rod for being a glass, it's I think 50 euros or around 50 dollars, probably cheaper on your side, it's very, very, very accurate forgivable not forgivable forgiven it will it will not hurt your feelings while casting and overall pretty cool experience but because fishing has been sucking lately I took it when I tried to catch trout And I use it now while I'm trying to 
catch um, chub. I see plenty of chub in here. Oh, it's one inspecting my lure. And I'm also using my new gloves. Today is pretty sunny. I think there's. I saw just the movement on the water over there. I think it's the the vixen or the mink. Maybe I'll have to try something smaller because I see a lot of smaller fish in here. Probably the bigger ones are a little bit down the creek, but at least I know that next time I should bring my weaving gear. Oh, something's on! Ah. At least it's the first proper bite. I have on the on this rod. Whoa! Very very feisty and very very small. Let's try to feed a little bit more line. Nice, nice decent sized chub. Now I will slow up lures because this one, it will hurt a lot this smaller fish. And I will swap for single hooks. So, best legends out. And this little tug is in. So single hooks should be easier on them, also the presentation it's smaller but it looks bigger because the Bass Legend one thing that it has in its favor is that this is a bit translucent it can be seen as a smaller presentation hmm. but the rod is Kristen I thought that the hook set would be a bit harder, but with at least with trebles, which it's what this rod is made for, it's it's good. I see some fish over there. When I'm working the lure, I will let the lure drift a little bit more. So when the the lure passes again in front of them, it's working properly. Working properly didn't cut it. So you see me here because some local told me that some guys pulled a green fish with a large mouth and I went on investigating. So this is the upstream part of the main river that the creek that I usually fish fits. And good news, I found bass there. Bad news, it was a three incher, but it had an attitude and that gives me confidence on the late hotter months to go and try to catch some bass there. Other than that, I will give you my final thoughts about this rod and the sucking week that I had. So we reached the end of the session. Today was a very productive day. Uh, in one hour I caught one fish, but I really don't care that much. I just wanted to catch a fish for the in-water test of the glass rod. The rod is amazing. Paired with a pure lure silver feather, by the end of the session, I was casting under 1 gram, so I had a 0.5 gram uh, jig head from spin puller and the tanta lure, but on the end I just backlash it because the, I was overhanding against the wind and the lure just caught on some leaf uh, behind me and it was a crap shoot of a backlash. Not, not full of the equipment, it was my bad usage of it. But I, a local told me that someone is catching bass just up of the waterfall on the main river 
So I beached the creek immediately, went and explored, I saw a small bass chasing my lure, I saw a couple more bass chasing my lure, also a lot of chub, but a lot of flat gravel areas and a lot of deep pockets. I think I will grab my sub board and try to explore it later on on this month because it's starting to hit a lot, I'm sweating already, but I had a blast today, the, the glass rod from Leidu, mm, it's very very good. It's very very fun to cast with, uh, you can cast anything, I think comfortably, even if you are a novice, until 1.5, 2.5 grams, you will not have problems throwing it. If you have space, if you are wading, I think you can manage to throw 1 grams with no problem on that rod and with that reel. That said, I have a fish on the glass rod, I want to put more but it's starting to creep out that season where the crankbait just stopped to work because i cannot locate the fish that will bite them and waiting season is on i regret today i didn't know that the creek was so low if i know it was so low i would grab my shorts my vest i went inside of the creek but enough of the outro i will see you guys on my next video bye